Well, the first day of school is just days away, and this year, students, teachers, and parents should notice changes to security. Public schools across Florida are now required to put in place new safety protocols following February's mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. The Palm Beach County School District just announced their changes to security and introduced their new police chief. Multimedia journalist Jamil Donath was at that news conference and tells us what families can expect. On a hot August afternoon, Barrier Free Park in Boynton Beach is filled with kids and parents enjoying their last week of summer before school starts. We have concerns before, but because they happened, they what happened last year is more. You're more afraid. Marcella Alvarez has three kids enrolled at Palm Beach schools, including her son Lucas. People don't feel safe at school. We need to find a way to like return that security, that security feeling at school. After a gunman shot and killed 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland this February, safety is the number one priority going into the new school year. And upgrade our police fleet. And the Palm Beach County School District has a new and improved safety plan. Every school will be covered this year by a, a police officer. Like other districts, Palm Beach County Schools is scrambling to hire 75 more school police officers. So all of its 179 schools will have an officer on campus. Hello. Until those officers are hired, 14 local law enforcement agencies are filling the gaps. All officers will have enhanced training, including active shooter response. If there's an event that happens, a threat to the students, it's not waiting for a police officer to respond. That police officer is going to be on the scene. I think I feel a little more secure knowing that there's an officer there helping, but I'm still not 100% sure. And the 2018 back to school plan is not just enhancing police officer presence on campus, but also security components. Improvements include single point of entry, fencing and gates, and safe rooms. As part of this ongoing effort to amp up security, the district will complete 18 security enhancement projects by the end of August, with 36 more slated for this year. I think it's, go it's going to be good. Some kids' schools, like Savannah Sedlicek's daughter, already have these safety measures in place. There is only one entry point. There was an officer there last year. So I think it's going to kind of be business as usual. The district is also turning focus on mental health, equipping employees with training to recognize behavioral cues, staffing crisis mobile teams, and adding more social workers. I really think mental health awareness is a huge thing. But to make this plan really work, everyone has to get their feet wet. Jamil Donith, Your South Florida. And in Miami-Dade and Broward Public Schools, similar changes are now in place. Some of these changes include mandatory IDs, reduced entry points, having classroom doors and gates locked throughout the school day, an increase in the number of security personnel, and regular lockdown or code red drills. And another effort to improve school safety, the penalty for making a school threat is now a second-degree felony. Well, later this month, Pam will sit down with Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho and the district's new police chief, Edwin Lopez, to hear how the fourth largest school district in the country is managing these new safety upgrades. And next week, Pam will talk to Broward School Superintendent Robert Runcy for an update on safety and details on a referendum Broward residents will see on their primary ballots, asking for additional funds to further secure the district schools. So do you have a comment about school safety or want to send a question to Superintendents Carvalho or Runcie? We want to hear from you. You can reach us by email or post a video or comment on our Facebook page at Your South FL. It could be read on the air and we look forward to hearing from you.